In the face of worldwide energy shortages, of scarcity, wars, poverty, depression, and violence, our children of the Academy of Engineering and Green Technology, with the help of their instructors and business community, have become a force for creation. They have defeated the pull of destructive circumstances, transcended their lives past the point of mere existence, and worked their way into the threshold of leadership, world leadership. It is time for the world to meet our engineering team. Hi, my name is Paulo Henrique Alcantara Silva. Sarangeli Iris Trinidad. Shaisha Unique Washington. Laura Webster. Aranda Hill. Jesus Feliciano. Kalo Bradley. Giovanni Okendo. Jamelia Coburn, Catherine Corona, Shalisa Diaz, Milan Bond. My name is uh, David Mangus. I have a teacher here, and a few years ago we, we started a project called the Paul uh, Project. We didn't call it 1.0 at the time, but that's what we refer to it now, where we wanted to build a remote power system for a third world country. and. Uh, Mr. Worth, who's standing over there, Worth Family Foundation, uh, approached us through an organization called CPEP and uh, Connecticut Pre-Engineering Program. And then they approached us to build a system that you probably have seen pictures of uh, outside. There's actually a big picture of it over there on top of the coat rack there. Me and Mangus were just doing random numbers, and then with those numbers we took it and started doing boxes and lines and seeing how we were going to fit everything and then along the way a shape came the, the final design just comes to be and we build and, that's, and when you build it and you're done and you see your final result I like that I like saying oh I help with this I help build it this is the DePaul 2.0 test station um, we actually make the test station by ourselves everything, everything that we made had to be put on a yak back to be hiked up the mountain so we came up with these yak packs. They're um they're covered with tarp and wrapped with rope and gorilla tape. The rope is for is so it can be yakable, so that when they get ready to hook these up to the yak, it'll be easier and faster for them without doing extra work. So to figure out the angle for the frames, we had to figure out the latitude for Nepal, because as you get closer to the equator, the sun starts moving more east to west instead of north and south. So as you get closer, the soil apparently needs to be flatter to catch more of the sun. So Mangus had me look up the formula for the, to figure out the right angle for in the summer because that's when we're gonna be using the solar panel the most. So I had to find that and I knew the length and I knew how high we wanted to have the ground. So I was able to find the angle over here of how it needed to be tilted. And it turned out to be around two degrees, which is basically flat. And Laura and Paolo, they designed it after I did the math for them. First, I designed it on the computer invent, using Inventor. And, and then we analyzed the problems that we had with the angles and the bars that are supporting the, the frame. I printed the engineering drawing, and we assembled the parts together. This is the manual for the Saladang village. When you open it, the first thing you're going to see is a diagram to show each village how you're going to hook up the system from the wind solar hybrid controller. So this basically shows you which, which wires are connecting to the battery, what part of the battery, so you won't mix them up and mix positive with negative. And right, this was so going to show you what to hook up from government. the controller from the wind input right, so I'm, I'm into the switch box, the input the switch box. And then, but as you go, you see it's color coded right, so you won't mess anything up. The so the green wire is coming from the ground. With a, um, the red wire is for the battery, it, they, and the blue wire is for the solar, and the yellow is for a, the wind. Uh, is, so the it's all color coded breakup. in like a way so you'll know which one is going to which part of the system. I don't tell people anything. So I already knew the formulas, I already knew the angle, I already knew the distances, but I never tell people, ask those guys. I make you figure it out, don't I? I know, and, and it's painful. Uh, it's, it, it's a weaning process because people in America often associate teaching with telling. And I, that's not me, and never will be. 
Uh, I believe teaching is, involves that process of discovery. Because things you discover are things you remember. The students in the Nando Elementary School, that where you provided power, they all wrote you a thank you note. Every single name on this is a light that you've touched, that you have you've changed their lives. So it makes me feel better as a person knowing that I'm giving back to the world, not just my community. My heart feels good because a lot of people think that just because we're in Hartford, we can't do things that other people could do. I don't, I don't want them to say thank you to me. It's, like, it's something I would do again without thinking about it. Because to know that you will help somebody without knowing them is like a selfless act. The first time I did it, I volunteered. It was such a great um, thing that I didn't even care if I was getting paid or not. It's just something that I feel good at heart that I was doing, helping someone that's less fortunate. So once I heard about the idea of coming back to make a second one, that's even that was like icing on the cake. You know what the engineering standard is? To work on something to improve a third world country. Oh, wow. The new standards now are what you do. So give yourselves a hand. You are, you are part of the, the change. The first time we heard about the project, the first one, a lot of people did not believe that we were going to do it. It's like a small school from Harvard. So like, if you get a project like this, no matter what school you are, you have to do for people to go for it. You'll never know if you could do it or not unless you try. Se siente genial haber completado este proyecto. Aunque trompezamos mucho, pudimos levantarnos otra vez. Se siente, como dije ya, se siente genial. Saber que tú construiste algo para poder ayudar a otra persona. Y sabiendo eso, se siente aún mejor porque hiciste una diferencia.